I'm Josiah Johnson, a uh, member of the Head and the Heart, and I got a laryngoscopy at Swedish. We finished up the last album touring cycle six months ago and started working on songs for our next album. And I was noticing that it was, it was kind of like I had lost my voice because that feeling that you get when you stay up too late and you're, you know, drinking and talking loud and, well, maybe I'll like try quitting smoking and drinking for like this month and that still didn't solve the problem. Being able to hit those high notes just involves like blunt force as opposed to being able to finesse it. After a few months of trying to ignore it, realizing that it wasn't going away, Dr. Peterson said it's too far along at this point to just like make lifestyle changes. He had been having some trouble with his voice. He'd noted uh, both with his singing voice and his speaking voice and uh, he had been doing some performances and had some times when he was having more difficulty reaching a certain part of his range. So he came in to see me and did an exam. He had an area on his left vocal cord that was keeping his vocal cords from meeting. So he did some therapy and then came back in. We did another, took another look at his vocal cords and his exam was unchanged. So we talked about surgery, talked about the options, and planned for surgery, which we just did today. I could see with surgery that it was clearly a cyst. It was absolutely the right thing to do the surgery. I made some cuts right around it so that I could remove it without touching the adjacent tissue. It's important to take care of your voice so that you have the voice that you want to present to the world. Based on his exam and how the surgery went today, I would expect that he should be able to go back to singing and performing it's step by step. So how he does in the next couple of weeks will um, help to define that. It's like five and a half, six weeks later, I think. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, talking is like, you know, totally back to normal. I've started singing a little bit, but that's still like, you know, I have to be careful not to, to overuse it too much. And we have shows coming up in like a week that I'm going to be selective about. I do, you know, some vocal exercises, um, you know, every day to, to kind of like lengthen and get the vocal cords a little limber, but um, that are pretty minimal, but just Good to, good to, you know, do on a regular basis and drink lots of water and don't strain it, you know, and other than that, it's, it's like a, it's just a waiting game. I definitely took my voice for granted before this. Um, it's been really wild to want to, you know, you know, work on writing a song or, you know, and not being, just like not being able to sing and being jealous of people that can sing. <laughs> you know, at the point that I was at, having the surgery was kind of the only option and it's a great option, you know, like three months of my my life being, you know, altered in exchange for my voice back to where it's supposed to be. If you are noticing, you know, if you're losing your voice more often than you normally do, or, or uh, you know, if, if parts of your range that are normally totally fine when you're singing are, you know, disappearing, um, you'd probably get it checked out.